We've had quite a bit of rain lately, so the minute the sun came out, I threatened to hop on the tractor and do some mowing. This got Lincoln right on the job since I don't actually know how to drive that particular tractor. This is how my garden looked last fall. This year, big failure. Unfortunately, I haven't been able to devote the time I would like to the walled garden. I'm hoping I can squeeze in a few hours here and there these next few weeks. I might even be able to lure my children out there with some s'mores. We recently bought a couple of large armoires, one for the larger guest room and another for our future kitchen. In one of our previous videos, we unearthed some beautiful armoires that had been stored in the outbuildings. Unfortunately, none of them were quite large enough for our guest room project, but they'll be used in other bedrooms. And I'm not sure if you can tell, but we are not professional furniture movers. So it's about 8.30 in the morning, and I'm getting to work on finishing the guest room. And I'm just, I'm really not sure if I'm loving the black. Granted, this is only the first coat, so I need to see the second coat. I do like the green around the windows, but... Um, I don't know. What have I done? Big mistake or design triumph? We'll find out. With the holidays approaching and guests on the horizon, I'm quite excited to dive into some cooking and decorating. But sometimes I need some inspiration. Our sponsor this week is Readly, an amazing app where you can access all of your favorite magazines in one place. With 6,000 titles to choose from, I can find recipes from some of my favorite food magazines from all over the world. And I'm happy to say Readly is offering you, our fantastic viewers, a deal you can't pass up. Two months of Readly for free and you can cancel at any time. If you're like us and are trying to make strides to save the planet, Readly is also eco-friendly. No more giant piles of magazines cluttering up your house. I can speak from experience as I just got rid of some of Lincoln's old car magazines. Now Lincoln can access them anywhere and read about that $2 million classic Porsche he'll never own. Readly is also great if you'll be someplace without an internet connection. Just make sure to download before you go and you'll be able to read offline. On a plane, no problem. A train, great. On a yacht in the middle of the Indian Ocean partying with Beyonce. I can even be sitting in the middle of one of my fields. Readly is also great for people like me who wear reading glasses and struggle to find a bright enough spot to comfortably read. So please check out the link in the description below to access your free two months of Readly. You won't be disappointed. I wasn't able to completely finish the guest room, but progress has been made. I even went so far as to ask Lincoln to give me a hand. As I've mentioned before, Lincoln has been banned from any painting-related activities due to his knack of covering his hands, clothing, and hair in paint. But since I was fighting a cold, desperate times call for desperate measures. He did an excellent job but the ban has been reinstated.
Mimi the Chateau Cat had a good visit with the vet oncologist. Her prognosis is good and will be given a course of electrochemotherapy this week. It uses an electric current to send the chemo directly into the cancer cells. It won't be a walk in the park, but when she gets home, she'll have her iPad with an endless reel of bird videos to watch. Good news for Dominic the donkey. The lump we discovered is a benign cyst, and we've been giving instructions to watch it. If it gets bigger, it will need to be removed. So we managed to get the armoire apart, thanks to a friend. So now our job is to bring it down the hallway and put it back together. Do you think we'll be able to do that? Sure, yeah. You're always the, the, the glass half full kind of guy. Right. It's Waffle. Don't knock anything over, Waffle. So Lincoln put the armoire doors on. I really needed to see the wood against the black to see if I liked it or not. And I'm on the fence. So I've done a second coat of the black. I don't know, I'm really, I'm really not sure about the black. I might have to repaint. So we've decided to get rid of the black for a lighter, cheerier sage green. Um, we just thought the black was too depressing and washed out the wainscoting. Um, so my wardrobe will stay black, just not the wainscoting. So stay tuned. Now watch us struggle to get this armoire together and try not to laugh. You broke it. This is the second piece of furniture we purchased, and it's so pretty. 
This will be going into our new kitchen once it's finished. <laughs> so it's probably going to be It'll sitting sit here, here for, for a while. A while. <laughs> but um, I absolutely love the detail on top. And it's got beveled glass. So this is pretty. It's got, um, this will hold all of our dishes. But you need to add. There's one shelf. Missing. Another shelf. Yeah, you yep. need to make a shelf. And it's cat sized. It's got a cat in it. <laughs> yes, fluffy. Goodbye, Lincoln. Yes. We have 10 fireplaces in the chateau, and we're always short of a fireplace grate or andirons. And I was lucky enough to find this pair of ladies that will be put to good use. Thanks for watching. If you've enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe. And if you have something to say, leave us a comment.